What's up guys? This is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. In this topic, I'm going to teach you how to use the switchback tool that is available in Revit and AutoCAD and other uh, few applications. So switchback, what this does is it allows to select an item in Navisworks. So right click and jump to that object in whatever software it was created in. So in our case in Revit. So let's use Revit as an example. So by activating the switchback uh, function in Revit and having your model open, you can actually navigate to that object in Navisworks. Then you can force uh, Revit to zoom object right in Revit. Okay. So basically, this is what we are going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the sample project file in Revit so that all of you will be able to follow. So I'm going to use, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use the RAC basic sample project. I'm going to open this. Okay. And then I'll change my view to 3D. Okay, so it's always good to change your view in 3D if you are going to uh, export your 3D model to Navisworks so that all of the elements that you want to be included to your export will be included to the exported model in Navisworks. All right. Okay, so after I change my view to 3D, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and select the add-ins button here. And then after that, from the external panel, there's an option here, uh, Navisworks 2018. So basically, it's just an exporter tool to Navisworks. So just go ahead and select this one. And I will just override this. Okay, just override this file. And then I'm just going to save it. Uh, just save it. Yes. Okay. So after that, so after you uh export this file so what i'm gonna do is okay i'm going to open now the navisworks file and then i'm going to this is a new project uh probably i'm going to append that uh rabbit file that i just exported so i'm going to append it where did i actually save it mm, I think I save it in the Navisworks Manage Samples folder. Okay, so let me change the file subtype. Select all files. Okay. Where is that? Let me just double check it. So going to Revit, Navisworks. Where is this? Okay, so it's inside the Revit 2018 Samples folder. So this is the file name again. So going back to Navisworks, app uh, 2018 samples folder. Okay, this is the one that I just exported. So I'm gonna append this one to this project. All right. So this is now the model. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the walk tool. This is the walk tool. Just make sure the collision, gravity, crouch, third person is disabled. So I just want to walk inside the, the model. All right. So just zoom in. Okay. And by this time, you should be able to navigate your model in Navisworks uh, nicely. Okay. <laughs> because you are already using Revit. Okay, so, all right, so I just walk again. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an object here. So let's say, for example, I want to select this particular element here. So I'm, uh, I'm going to select this tool and then just make sure the properties is turned on. And then I just need to select the chair. Okay, so this is the property. Now, if you want to switch back to Revit, what you can do is you can right click the object and then from there you can select the switch back. Okay, just select that one. Okay, and then it's not part of the recording, but you will notice after you select the switch back, the Revit icon on your uh, desktop, it will blink. Okay, now if I go back to the Revit, 
if I open it, you will notice that it's actually highlighted. I just wonder what, what is what is wrong with my resolution or my video card, but it's not highlighting the model. But anyway, for me to be able to see that separately, as you can see, it's already selected. So I'm going to go ahead and select these two here, selection box. So this is a pretty cool uh, feature in, uh, in Revit. There you go. So it will actually create a separate 3D view. So from here, okay, so this is a great way to switch back and forth between Revit and Navisworks. Okay, so because it is so much easier to navigate in Navisworks, I just love this feature, the switch back feature. So from here, you'll be able to check out what is the property of that particular object, if it is an m &E fixtures, if it is a structure, you can always switch back to your uh, Revit. Okay, so using this feature. So we can finally get the best of both worlds when it comes to productivity, right? So now, now you can see why you might start using Navisworks in your project, okay? So let me try to do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Navisworks. So let's say, uh huh. let me just walk here. Okay, so let's say I'm going to select again another object. So let's say this one. This is actually a meal a built under dishwasher, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you want to check out the properties of this one, or if you want to navigate this object in Revit, okay, you can just right-click this. You can select switch back. Again, the Revit icon will blink. And then you just need to go to your Revit. Again, it's now selected, so I'm just going to select here this tool, selection box. There you go, right? Okay, so basically that's how you use the switch back tool. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can just put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? So don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. So once again, this is Rich. Have a nice day.